I just want to read one halacha by the Rambam. Maimonides, 900 years ago, this was written. It took him 30 years to write it. 30 years. That's, by the way, from all the books of the Rambam, the only one he wrote in Lashon HaKodesh. All other books were written in Arabic. This was written in Lashon HaKodesh. Why? Do you know why? Because the other books are more like philosophy, explanation for the Mishnayot, this. But here, it's halakha lemaaseh. It's the law. Everyday law. If you write it in Arabic, there could be ten different interpretations. What did he really mean? You can translate this word like this, like that. When it comes to divine laws, you must write it in Lashon HaKodesh. Why? Because there should not be any argument. So the Rambam writes here, in chapter 5, in the laws of repentance, first halacha, Reshut kol adam netunalo. Every person has permission from Hashem. Im ratza la'atot atzmo lederech tova, if he wants to push himself to a positive path, ve'liot tzadik, and to be righteous, areshut be'ado. It's 100% in his hand. Nobody tells him be or don't be, 100% your choices. Ve'im ratza la'atot atzmo lederech ra'a, if he wants to push himself to a wicked path, and to be wicked, areshut be'ado. Also 100% permission to do whatever you like. <laughs> However, who shekatuv b'Torah, it's written in the Torah, en adam haya keechad mimenu ladaat tovera. Person is like the angels. They can see what's good and what's bad. Kloma is not like animal. An animal doesn't understand what's right and what's wrong. The animal, when, they, when a lion murders a zebra, he doesn't feel guilty. Why? He needs to eat. <laughs> this is the way it's programmed. Animals don't have shame. They can have intimacy in front of a million people. They're not ashamed. They don't have spirituality. They don't have a divine soul. But we and the angels are spiritual. We actually are in a higher level than the angels. The higher, higher level than the angels because the angels are also programmed to do their job in a creation. As I explained in my series, The Way of God, Derech Hashem by Lutzato, the Ramchal. But that's not the topic right now. So I just, just want to finish this halacha. And it says like this, Klomar, en min zeh shel adam, haya echad ba'olam, ve'en lo min sheni domelo. The human race, the human being, is one kind that there is no other kind that's similar to him. בזה העניין שהוא מעצמו, מדעתו, מחשבתו, יודע טוב והרע. A person knows from his opinion, from his knowledge, from his thoughts, what's good and what's bad. ועושה כל מה שהוא חפץ, but still he chose to do whatever he likes. Meaning he can do horrible things, but he can do wonderful things. He chose what to do. ואין לו מי שיעכב על ידו לעשות הטוב והרע. There is no power or energy or interference with his choices. Nobody tells, you, do this, tells him do this or do that or do not do it. It's 100% full control. He is controlling the will. Vekevan sheken, and therefore, right, the, you know, the, therefore the conclusion of this, we should, know, we should understand the difference between us and the animals is one difference only. The animals are stronger, faster, better in many things than what we do. They have abilities we don't have. An eagle can watch the entire New York City in an hour. It will take us 10 years to do it. Flying with a drone. An eagle can do it. Lion runs faster, cheetah, all this. They have much bigger, better skills. Stronger, more powerful. Do you know how brilliant is a bird building a nest? Did you ever see a bird, how it built a nest? You need to go to college 10 years to build such thing, with such unbelievable engineering. Do you know what GPS the bird has? You have billion trees in upstate New York, billions. And the bird make a nest under all the top of the trees, and the bird goes 10 miles away to find for worms to bring to the nest. And it, can, and it flies all the way and knows exactly from one billion trees to know the, the one tree where the tree, it built the, the nest and land right into the nest to feed 
the babies over there. That's way before we invented ways, GPS, that take you to Baka and Garbia, that the Arabs will slaughter you over there. Make a left. I'm going to Tel Aviv. What do you mean make a left? You get to Baka and Garbia, make a left. Why? You make a left, you'll be dead. Why? P- your GPS made by people. People make mistakes. But the animals are programmed like robots. Pshh, everything precise. But there's one thing we are better than them. We are the only species that can choose to do something against our will. No animal can do such thing. For instance, if you tell the cheetah, don't attack the, the, the sheep now. We want to take some pictures, wait five minutes, and then eat them up. There's <laughs> nobody to talk to. He's hungry now, he must attack. You cannot stop him. There's no way to convince the cheetah to wait ten minutes before it murdered the, 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 the goat. People can choose to do against their will. He wants to marry this Goya, but he realized the Torah doesn't give permission. He gave up his plan. What he wanted, to do it. Hashem said, you're not allowed. Okay, I surrender. He doesn't, he's not in the mood now to go pray. But he forced himself to do it. Why? It's the right thing for himself to do. He's not doing anyone a favor. Speaking to God, you have a one-on-one meeting. Putting tefillin on the heart, dedicate the heart, dedicate the head to the creator of the world. You have a one-on-one meeting with the creator of the world and you turn it down. That's up to you. Nobody tells you yes or no. If you're not in a mood and you still woke up in the morning and went to the synagogue and joined your friends and did it and sang a little bit and heard beautiful divrei Torah, you get into it. Once you start, you love it. The idea is you want to eat something not kosher. They told you, I'm sorry, it's not kosher, this meat. Okay, well, but you're hungry, no? Eat, no? I can't touch it. Why? God said you're not allowed to eat it. So therefore, you see that a person can overcome his desires. He can do what's right, not what he feels like. And because of that, he's the only species in nature that is subject to reward and punishment. If he does right, he will get his reward. And if he does against the instructions, he was supposed to fight his desire, he didn't, he's going to jail. He can get execution. In some countries, they'll execute him. Why? Why did he do it? Well, I, I was angry. Control your anger. Nobody execute a lion because he ate some zebra in a safari. Why? That's the way of the world. If a person murders someone, you know what, the, what will be the law, right? So we understand that. And one just last thing and we move on. Don't dare to think what the foolish people of the nations... And Rov Golme Bnei Israel and the dumb Jews, dumb Gentiles and dumb Jews, <laughs> bottom line, everyone, every human being. Shakadosh Baruch Hu Gozer Al Adam Itchilat Briyatol Yot Sadik Orasha. Do not dare to even think, needless to say, to say, just to think even that God decreed on a person when he was created if he will be righteous or wicked. Don't dare to think even such a thing. This is completely wrong. Every human being can be righteous like Moshe Rabbeinu, like Moses, or can be wicked like Yerovam ben Avat. He can be smart, can be a fool. Depend. If we will learn, he will be smart. He doesn't want to learn, he will stay a fool for the rest of his life. He can be merciful, he can be cruel, and all other things. It's 100% in his hand. No one is forcing him to which path to enter. So if he did the right thing, he gained. And if he did the wrong thing, he lost.